Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay, so catch that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll explain that. I just so we're looking at a amplification of charge here. We've taken a myological capacitive probe, which is a wound hemp fiber dipped in sea salt, wound around a high impedance probe, which is essentially a biological capacitor. And that weak capacitor is entrained by the tree here. And so by amplifying the weak voltage of charge through a high gain preamplifier and then spectrum analyzing, we can see the weak charge envelope of this tree. The model here is that life force is predicted by charge density because the tree is able to extract the life force, the voltage that's associated with life, by becoming a fractal attractor for capacitance. And that's identified when the charge envelope becomes measurably coherent. So in effect, what we do is we take the weak capacitive field of the tree and we spectrum analyze and we look at the harmonics. We see not just a Schumann resonance, but a cascade of harmonics that creates an implosive wind between frequencies, which becomes a fractal attractor for charge that we believe is life force. So we've had great success on days which are a little bit less windy than this by in measuring when a person who is skilled, for example, in sacrocranial work would hug a tree like this, they would be able to feel the low frequencies of the tree and we could measure the heart of the person and the capacitive field of the tree phase lock. So literally you can feel, you can measure the effect of love on trees and you can measure the effect of life force in trees. Some examples of this idea is that in Curlian photographs, for example, of living things, we see the radiance optically, but we believe the photon is in fact angled in to the field effect capacitively or by charge. So in fact, charge density becomes a, a useful way to describe life force, the physics of astrology, and in fact how light is steered into living bodies. So this is an example of using the heart tuner to measure life force in living things by amplifying charge and a peacemaker would use that kind of skill to understand that everything in this environment is playing a role in whether or not charge reaches this tree. For example, in a tree just down there, last time on a cycle I were here, we found one very healthy, responsive tree, and every time you'd hug it, you got this beautiful harmonic cascade. We walked over to a tree just about a couple hundred yards away, and we found that tree was beginning to die. We tried to figure out why, we spectrum analyzed the tree, we found a huge peak at 70 cycles per second. We looked around and there was a big metal fence which pointed right at the tree. We put the inductor over the metal fence, 70 cycles per second. The metal fence was killing the tree measurably. So in fact, everything in the environment that helps attract charge builds life. Everything in the environment that bleeds charge causes death. So this idea is then conveyed to a pure principle of peacemaking that you can fabricate electrical environments that attract charge and thus actually make sacred space and make peace.